Hey there, this is just a quick one. I've got lots to say, but uh, my usual routine on Friday today is a bit changed. Oh my God, Tommy, 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 Tommy Robinson. I'm shocked at how he looks. I'm shocked at what he's been through. I'm shocked at the videos. I'm so impressed, but I'm so worried about him and his future uh, health and, and his family particularly, because, you know, those of us who've been fighting this stuff, you know, I left the UK. I, I could see what was coming. I, I knew I, I couldn't raise my family there. And um, I don't know if Tommy can, I don't know if he can, um, anyway, I hope he can continue. Uh, but the British press, the, the, what they're gonna do now is go after his family. They're hounding his mother. They're hounding his, they're trying to unearth. They're gonna try and release where, he's, where he lives. And um, if they do that, then that's a direct incitement to have him killed. I just wanted to say one quick thing about the court case. The court cases, Canterbury, and there's something that's not really been brought out by many commentators, which is that both courts made exactly the same mistake. Now, I've been watching the media for a long time. I watch media make mistakes. And often when they make mistakes, if they correct them, you know, you're told you have to forgive them. But what I see is that I never see mistakes go both ways. You see, I never see them accidentally say something bad about the Palestinian Authority, for example. I only ever see them say something bad about the IDF or Israel. So the mistakes are always in one direction, and it's the same case with this. They made a mistake when they wrote down in Canterbury Tommy's uh, committal. It should be a committal, not a sentence. They wrote it in a criminal way instead of a civil way, and that that gave him horrible conditions. And then when it came to Leeds, the, the, the clerk of the court and the judge both, because, you know, I don't know whether the judge had time to read, the, but he should read everything that comes out of his court. The clerk wrote the same mistake. So, so the same mistake was made twice over a year, you know, a year apart in two different courts. That's very suspicious. Very, very, very suspicious. The, the more charitable reading, such as you'd get from Joshua Rosenberg, who's the BBC's sort of top legal, legal commentator, the more charitable um, thing you'd get from them is that, well, you know, this is such an obscure part of law, um, one can understand if people make mistakes in it because it's not help, handled very often, and both clerks, but, you know, sorry. I'm just not in the mood to be charitable with the British legal system when they make exactly the same mistake twice in two different geographies, in two different places, both to the detriment of Tommy. If, if one had made a mistake in his favor and one had made his mistake against him, you know, then it's an honest mistake. But no, this is just everything about it. It was a stitch up. Um, a political prisoner, I don't know. These are just terms that are thrown about. Uh, but he was in there, they, trying, they are trying to break him. They've been trying to break him ever since the days of the EDL. His mortgage fraud conviction was a total sham. He should never have pled guilty to it, but he, he was forced to because they were threatening to out his family. And that's, that's the real truth. And um, there's just no other way to say what is going on other than that. Anyway, that's enough for now. I'll get back to... Uh, the stuff I have to do today and if I have time for a longer video I will but Tommy my heart goes out to you I'm so pleased that some of the people stuck with you um, we know who they are we know who supported you through thick and thin and um, I'm proud to have done that and been right there all along good luck go to Tenerife get better uh, and come back and um, we can fight these bastards